Welcome back to Vintage Watch Hunter. This is John here again. I'm standing in front of glasses this time, not watches. Uh, we changed the storefront into glasses, so all of our watches are out of the back. Um, but anyway, today what I really wanted to do is give you guys an update on shipping uh, with USPS, Pirate Ship, all that kind of stuff because the pandemic is still raging, uh, the USPS is not doing very well, and I'm seeing it affect my business, and I'm sure it's affecting yours. So let's get to the video. Please like and subscribe down below. Here we go. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this video is really going to be a therapy session for me. I just want to get out off my chest all the things that have um, kind of been happening to my business regarding shipping over the last couple months. And I really wanted to talk to somebody. So hopefully whoever is watching, just comment comment down below and we can talk about what we're doing in our uh, online businesses to try and stay afloat during these really, really difficult times uh, with business. So anyway, what I wanted to talk mostly about was the problems I'm having with USPS shipping. So background on my company, we do around 250 to 350 shipments a month. Um, and I'm having a big problem with USPS delays. Now, as many of you know, uh, recently with the uh, Postmaster General change and a lot of changes to how the USPS system works, we've had a lot of delays in shipping. And I can attest that there are a ton of delays and it's really terrible. Um, domestic shipments are pretty bad. Sometimes they, they get to their destination on time, but generally I'm seeing items that should get there in like two or three days. They're getting there in six days, 10 days. I'm even seeing some shipments take two weeks in the United States, which is really crazy for me. Uh, this is a problem for my business because I do not use UPS and I do not use FedEx unless it's a fairly valuable item. The reason we don't do that is because a normal shipment um, from USPS is anywhere from uh, 274 per label to, two, to 343 depending on where in the country it's going. Now for me, I ship watches and I ship glasses as you can see and these are uh, fairly lightweight, so I don't really have to worry about um, heavy packages or large packages. All of my watches and glasses go out in either a padded envelope in a box or in a shipping tube for the glasses. So the biggest problem for me is that a lot of uh, my items are getting delayed. And one item I just had uh, shipped to, uh, I think Detroit, Michigan, um, obviously in the United States, it's been missing basically or it hasn't received any new tracking updates since November 3rd and it's now November 11th as I make this video. So I have a, it's a hundred and maybe $160 pair of uh, sunglasses that were sent to a buyer and there's no shipping updates. Um, USPS is now saying just, you know, your, your item is in transit, it's going to arrive later than expected. But I have buyers who want their money back because it's taken you know, two weeks to get to them. And I understand this should not be happening. Uh, the problem for me is that, as I said earlier, FedEx is very, very expensive. UPS is very expensive. For what it costs me for a USPS shipping label, which is 274 to 343, it's gonna cost $15 on UPS. And there's really no way that I can um, give that cost over to the buyer. A lot of my uh, glasses and sunglasses are in the range of about $50. Same thing with my watches. Average order for a watch is about $45. And because of that, I can't put a $25 shipping price or a $20 shipping price on my items. It just doesn't work. Um, so I'm really in a quandary. I have no clue what to do. A lot of my shipments are being delayed and it's really affecting the bottom line. I'm now having to go out of my way to uh, either uh, cancel transactions because if I sell a $1,000 watch, to you know, whatever, England or Germany, I can't really ship it to them because I'm afraid that if I don't use a $120 FedEx service or UPS service, it's not gonna make it there on time. So that brings me to my next point is international shipping. International shipping is screwed. We're having a very large problem with international shipping as well. Again, USPS shipping label for an eight ounce package that I send all the time, 25 or 50 shipments every month, at least um, abroad. Those shipments through USPS are costing on eBay, because eBay has this um, global shipping program now, $10 flat for Canada and $13 flat basically anywhere else in the world. That same shipment, 
the same ground should be seven to 14 day shipment through FedEx or UPS. That same shipment would be 100 to $150 depending on the weight or the size of the box. Uh, I found that I get the best rates of about $108 if the box is a five by five by five. Any bigger than that, you're gonna see 125 and then up to 150. And it's the same weight, it's not even a pound. Uh, so this is my problem. I have a lot of these shipments, some watches or whatever that are 250 to $500, kind of a mid-price watch for me. It's a big expense to ship these through USPS because I don't know if they're gonna get there. And what I've been seeing recently, the most terrifying thing is that before sending to Japan, which I just had to give a refund on, uh, Japan, England, Germany, Canada, all of these countries, they, were, they had tracking until delivery. So everything on eBay was great. I uh, got seller protections, 30 day money back guarantee was fine because these people were all receiving their items on time and it was showing as delivered on eBay. Now, pretty much all of my international shipments, none of them are showing uh, delivered. And as I've said before, if you've watched any of my previous videos, if your tracking does not say delivered, your buyer can get their money back no matter what. Even if they received it, they can still get their money back. And I have a couple examples actually of people calling me or emailing me and saying, hey, thanks so much, I received the item. But when I go back and look at the tracking, it still shows as in transit. So this is a, a really scary time for USPS. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen when uh, President-elect Biden comes into power and what he decides to do with the Postal Service, but I can tell you that things are really terrible right now and I wanna know what your, uh, your experience is. Is it the same as mine? Is it different? Do you not use USPS? Do you use FedEx or UPS or DHL or whatever it is? Uh, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I really wanna know what's going on. All right, so just a couple quick examples of what I'm talking about here. Now I'm gonna put up on the screen a shipment that went to uh, the United Kingdom uh, in July. Now this one's a little old, but I did save the screenshots of the messaging with this person. So basically, it's what I've been saying, the item got there, all right? It took quite a while, uh, but the tracking was never updated. And before the pandemic, tracking to England always said delivered, and now it may or may not, which is really scary. And I don't know if that's something on our side, on the uh, US postal side, or if it's something um, with the, uh, the British mail. So anyway, this guy sent me a message saying, hey, thanks so much, I got my item, arrived great, perfect. You go back and look at the tracking, it still shows as in transit. And if you would like to look this up, it doesn't matter when you're watching this video, look up the tracking number, I'm gonna post it right here. Tell me if it says delivered because I'm pretty sure it does not. Here's another example of what I'm talking about. This time we have a package that was shipped to Canada. Uh, now on the tracking it says that it was delivered to the postal agent. That is actually the first time I've had that and it seems like what they did was they kept it at the postal office for my buyer to come pick it up. Um, he didn't know that, uh, but eventually he went and he picked up his item from the post office. So everything was good. He said, you know, I got, I got it, don't worry about it, we're all clear. However, if you look at the tracking, put the tracking right here. If you look at the tracking, it shows that it is still in transit. So if this buyer wanted, again, if this buyer wanted, they could go on eBay and say, hey, I didn't get my package and I would have to give them a refund. Scary, that is so scary. I don't know when this is going to end, but it's gonna have to at some point. Um, eBay doesn't really have a phone number anymore, you can't even contact them. So this is getting really, really crazy. Should I move to FedEx and UPS? What do you think? That, that shipment would have cost like 65 bucks or something like that and I would have never made the sale. So let me know, leave a comment down below, what should I do? So here is my last example. This one is domestic and this is actually happening quite often. Uh, we ship a lot of you know, domestic shipments uh, every week. So this is, this is crazy that this is going on. Uh, but this item was shipped uh, on October 30th. It was a sale on Etsy. As I said earlier, um, it's about $150 item so it's, it's quite expensive. It's now November 11th, shipped on the 30th. It's going to Pennsylvania. Generally that takes, or used to take four to six days. And now the last time this item was scanned by USPS was on November 3rd, and there is no more information and it, it's seemingly gone. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm really at a loss. 
this could cost my business hundreds or thousands of dollars in the next couple months, depending on which item you know is lost. It's like this crazy random game. It could be a twenty dollar item, fine. It could be a five hundred dollar item, and I'm screwed. And it does not matter. I think it does not matter. First class priority doesn't matter. Same thing is happening. I don't know about Express. I don't use it. But first class and priority, this is happening. I may have to give $150, $160 refund. What should I do? Leave a comment below. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on with the United States and the postal system, but uh, I hope it gets fixed really soon. So thank you so much. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. Please leave a comment. I would really love to have your feedback. What are you guys doing? What's happening to your business? So this is John from Vintage Watch Hunter, and now uh, Grand and Garnett Vintage Eyewear, and we'll see you in the next video.